What is it we're making? What dessert oh, is it? It's called bavoise. Bavoise. It's with creamy right. and light. Okay. So, so first, let's start uh, milk. Yep. Okay. Around what? Around half a bottle, which yep. is uh, 250. 250 ml. Yeah, the tea. Okay, just in. a little bit of uh, sugar. Sugar. Okay. Go for it. Go, go, go. It's okay. Okay. Stop cool. it. So what does bavoise actually mean, Mama? Bavoise, it's the name of a creme anglaise plus uh -huh. the gelatine. Oh, okay. And what makes it different, it's you had some whitening cream inside. Right. So you make it very light inside, uh, you know okay. what I mean? So dissolve the sugar into the milk. That's it, uh, that's is that when I put the lemongrass in? That's it. Okay. Just put uh, one, just cut one, in half, half, bash it a little bit. Bing, bing, bing. That's it, bing, bang, boom. <laughs> like in the kitchen, mama, let's do it. So let's we're going to infuse all the lemongrass into that's the it. milk. Let it infuse it very well, nice and slowly. Okay. okay, just put four eggs yolk, okay? And then put this one on. This is the sugar. Sure. Okay. So what, 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 what? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Come on, rock and roll, baby. Let's see. You yeah. see the milk is boiling just a little bit. It's called frémissement in French. Okay. Right. We got it. That's looking good. Man, I'm missing some. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the French love to kiss all the time. That's why you call French kiss. Uh, really? I will teach you how to make <laughs> no, a French kiss. No, 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 please. Okay, cool. Now good. all the lemongrass has infused in there. Oh, it's my. looking good. That's good. That's good. And then we're going to take the chinois. Okay. Yeah. How do you call it in English? I can't Remember. Ah, you strain it. A strainer, okay. mate. So you strain it, mate. Strainer, mate. Oh, all right, mate. Just strain, strain it. Yeah. Just strain it, mate. So you're just getting rid of all the lemongrass. That's it. Gelatin is used okay. to help thicken the sauce. Freshly whipped cream is folded through, and then the mixture is added into the rest of the cream. Now, I love all the farmers that sell all their fresh produce. You can fresh smell food. the freshness, don't you? Normal supermarket, yeah. hypermarket, whatever you want. Yeah. It's from the producer to the customer straight away. Beautiful. That's it. I love it. And Bonjour. then put it back everything in. Back in the wood. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> when I was doing this one in my apprenticeship, yep. he used to say the moose is like a woman. Just gently. Okay. Treat it gently. Gently. Okay. gently. Perfect. Okay. The Perfect. French are frisky, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, okay, brother. Um, you know, there's so much technique in, in French That's cuisine. That's what I came here for. Right. To I learn. really want to learn the technique. Sure. If you don't have the techniques, the base, yep. you can do nothing else. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Okay. Momo has also made a raspberry creme anglaise using the same method, only substituting milk for a raspberry puree. It is then frozen. The creme anglaise is then poured into moulds with sliced fresh lychees and the raspberry creme anglaise disc. Ah, okay, so when we cut when it open, open it, it's... You would see white, yep. red, red and white. Perfect. That's it. Now okay. it's set. Everything's yep. set. We put this one in the freezer. How long? Half an hour. Half an hour? Half an hour or... Okay. Uh, an hour, if you So think. during that hour, she'll go have some more wine. <laughs> oh, man. I've been drinking too much wine. <laughs> All right, let's put this in the freezer. Okay, let's back. go. Let's go. Beautiful. So I asked you for a simple recipe, right? right. I mean, look how many steps. The guy's closing down. The farmer's... There. Okay, what's next? Okay, we have the um, the, okay. the biscuit. This is a really nice biscuit. It's okay. called it's called Brittany shortbread. It smells like coconut. Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Coconuts remind me of Asian uh, so I, much. I really love what you've done here. You know, it's a traditional um, French dessert. Yes. But you've got um, the raspberry from spring. You've got the lemongrass from Asia. That's the lychee and the coconut. You've got everything inside. Fantastic. That's so that it. goes on there. So basically, we have the shortbread, the chocolate on the top. Yep. I wanted the softness of the shortbread, and as well, the chocolate is kind of crispy. You got it? Oh, this is called the glazing. It's a mango glazing. Mango, like, gla mango oh, so glazing. Many flavors. Fantastic. That's it. Oh, that looks Just, good. That looks good. Oh my God! Look at this. There it is. Well, oh, that looks. It. That looks excellent. It's simple, it's fresh, it's crispy. Why can't you do it? It's French, it's Vietnamese. French, it's... Vietnamese, it's Momo Win. Momo Win. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, boss. Merci beaucoup. I love you. That looks awesome. Thanks, Thank Momo. Thank you. Allez, c'est parti. Voilà. Allez-y. Excellent. Alors. Très bon. Excellent. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. Super. Merci. It's better than in a bakery. It's better than in a bakery. Really? So we should open uh, a bakery. Ah, excellent. Now that's Momo's Dom Bavavoise Citron Lychee. Bavavoise with lychee and lemongrass. 
One of my favorite dishes is stuffed calamari. And I've been cooking and eating stuffed calamari for so long, all through these countries of Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. And they just happen to be part of Indochina when the French colonized the area. But I'm here with Chef Dominic, who has his traditional Basque recipe where he's stuffing it with pig trotters. What do we have here, Dominic? Alors, on va faire les, les chipirons. On va préparer avec les chalotes, l'ail, mm -hmm. le jambon de Bayonne et puis les tentacules. First, he fries shallots, garlic, smoked ham, squid tentacles and pig trotters with a glass of port for a couple of minutes. The baby squid is sautéed, sprinkled with esplet pepper for spice, then stuffed with a delicate filling. Dominic enriches his homemade fish stock with his black squid ink. The squid is then left to cook for about five minutes. Oil infused with esplet pepper is the last finishing touch. So that's Dominic's stuffed calamari with a beautiful squid ink bisque sauce. How would you say this in French? Chipiron farci au pied de porc. And in Basque? Wow, it's very different, isn't it? It's fantastic. I have to try this. I can't wait any longer. Mm. Perfect. Magnifique. Bon? Magnifique. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Merci. <laughs>